what you're gonna do to test how flexible your lats are is sit right against the wall and try to bring your arms up over your head. You may notice that when you do this, you're not actually able to touch the wall behind you or your arms may be really bent, you feel quite a bit of a pull in your side. We're gonna fix that. So first off, we're going to go into child's pose. We're aiming to stretch this part of the back, the lats. It's a big V muscle in the back that will attach into the shoulder blade in this front of the arm there. The lats are responsible for that pull down movement. If it's weak, the neck muscles up there become very tight. So we want to work on strengthening them and stretching them because remember, just because it's tight does not mean it's strong. So go into child's pose and you're going to reach on a 45 degree angle to one corner and now go to the other side. So the side you are stretching away from is the side you'll feel a pull should feel like a very comfortable type of stretch that you'd be willing to hold for five minutes if you had to. So that's the intensity of the stretch you want to achieve. Again, switch to the other side. And switch. And back to center. Now this part here, we're gonna work the lower fiber traps and the lats, so trying to engage them. So with your elbows straight out, you're gonna to try to shrug your shoulders and then pull them down towards your glutes. And shrug, try to reach your fingertips a few inches above your head and pull back. So this can be a very difficult movement that a lot of people lose. So if this is too difficult for you, what you can do is stand right against the wall and do the same motion while standing facing the wall. Slide your fingertips up the wall and pull back down. Continue to do this motion for a few more. You should start to really feel the muscles below your shoulder blades warm up. So now keep that pull down position and lift your arm a couple inches off the table and back down. Now lift the up opposite arm a few inches off and back down. So do not lose that downward pull of the shoulder blade as you move up. And again, switch to the other side, lift up and down. So switch, if this is too much, you can place a towel rolled up underneath your forehead to give yourself a little bit more leverage and switch down, keep those shoulder blades down, switch, lift the opposite arm down, keep those shoulder blades down, lift the other arm down, keep pulling down, lift the arm, down, and release. Let's so come up onto all fours. We're going to go into cat and camels. So stretch up and look up to the ceiling. Tuck everything in. Look up to the ceiling. Push those shoulder blades down. Retract. And go up. Tuck everything in, look up if I'm moving too fast for you, you can take it at your own pace. It's the beauty of doing this at home on your own time. And look up to the ceiling. And now you're going to find a sturdy item in your house, whether that be a couch or a table that you can wrap an elastic band around that won't move when you pull because we're going to be working now on lap pull downs. So lie on your back, knees bent, and grab a good length of the band because we're going to be pulling it down towards us in this fashion here. So try to keep your elbows on the ground when you perform this lat pull down. So as you pull, pull your shoulder blades down first and then bring the band and your wrists closer towards your shoulders. Adjust as needed and pull everything down, try to keep those elbows right against the floor, and slowly, here's the trick, slowly let the bands retract. And pull down, squeeze those shoulder blades, slowly let the bands go back up. So squeeze shoulder blades down, remember those movements we are working on with the shoulder blades before. We are moving the shoulder blades up and down the back, 
you want to really focus on that downward gliding of the shoulder blades down that thoracic spine, that thoracic rib cage in the back as you're performing that movement. And squeeze everything down. Keep your neck nice and long. Shoulders down. Don't bring your shoulders to your ears. And slowly let the bands bring your arms back up. So you want to resist the bands from bringing your arms back up. You don't want it to just fling your arms back up. So now hold the band here as long as you can here. So hold, 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 hold. I want you to hold it to the point that your muscle of your lats is starting to fatigue. And you'll notice the longer I hold it, the band eventually starts to win and it slowly begins to pull my arms upwards. But the entire time I'm thinking, and I'm keeping my shoulder blades down, keeping my shoulders down so my shoulders aren't in my ears as the band is gradually winning and beginning to slowly overpower me. And that is what is going to lengthen and really give that elasticity back into those lats that are so tight on so many of us. Good, and release. So now let's retest. Go right up against the wall again. And now see the difference with your arms and how they can come close to the wall. Congratulations on completing this video. If you incorporate this into your daily workout routine and daily warm up, you'll notice huge differences in how you perform, especially in how to reduce your neck pain as well. Oftentimes, like I mentioned before, these weak lat muscles and weak lower fiber trap muscles highly contribute to neck pain and the overactivation of these neck muscles on top of that shoulders. So if you have any suggestions for me, questions, leave that in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions of videos you want me to release in the future, also leave that in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe because once you subscribe, you will get notified of every single new video that I release in the future and maybe even one that you request yourself. Thanks for all your support.